Jimmy Wanjeke is still here with us. CT, mm -hmm. did you give Jimmy the proverb today, by the way? Mm -mm. No, we didn't. Mm -mm. Jimmy, yeah, when I was about to give uh, the proverb, Jimmy, Jimmy gave us the talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I listened to the talk and I figured this one, I don't interrupt this one. <laughs> because it was making sense. Okay. Uh, but now, uh, that has come up for air. Yes. Let me give you the proverb. Please. Our proverbs for this week come from the Republic of Congo. Otherwise known as the Congo, mm -hmm. or known as Congo, Braza Velo. Okay. Right. Even without drum beats, banana leaves dance. Even without drum beats, banana leaves dance. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The wind. Mm. Mm. The wind. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you're saying we are blown by the wind. Yes. Mm -hmm. Is that you, CT? You <laughs> go with the wind. Sometimes, yes. It's important to go with the wind sometimes. Yeah, depending on mm. where it's going. All the time is a bit tricky. Because mm. even the wind vanes only go with the wind sometimes. Mm. No, it I means there's the... movement even without a drum beat. Yeah. Yes, without the noise. <laughs> you see, it is assumed that the dancing has to go with the beat. Yes. But you forget that even the whistling of the wind has a beat. Has a beat. You rhythm. may not think so. Should we say it has a rhythm? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you can dance to a rhythm. Not yes, necessarily you can. a beat. Yes. Yeah. Rhythm is the answer. How, how come you never have any Kenyan proverbs? Ah. I do. Indeed. I don't hear I them. I do. A couple of weeks. Some ago. Swahili ones. I do. Oh. In fact, we're in Zanzibar hmm. and we had Swahili proverbs then. Yeah. Because we're very rich. Easter, Central Africa, Central and, uh, and West Africa seem very rich. In, um, so, oh, by the way, hmm. even Kenya, very rich in, 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 in proverbs. Mm. Very. You see, what happens with these proverbs is this um, you choose an area. Like, we've been in East Africa, mm. now moving out of East Africa, going to Central. Mm. Okay? Mm. Then when I move out of central, then I will go to south. Mm. Then from the south, I'll go back to west. Then I'll come back to east. And then north. And then north. I think when I'm here, when I've been here, you've always and the had islands. Uh, either, <laughs> either West Africa or Central Africa. So I guess that's why the question. I think Goyako. Mm. I think you're partial. Well, you... <laughs> 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 All right, back to your conversation. Yeah. So Jimmy is unleashing things this morning. He, he has unleashed what everybody has been looking for. Khalif Khalifa and the Okoa Mombasa movement have been, go they've even gone to court. They're yes. saying we are asking the government to give us the contract pertaining to SGR. They are we doing are a very good job, very good civil job. We haven't received. Now you have the contract. Yes. You've given us one contract. Mm. This is on the civil works construction of the SGR from Mombasa to, to Nairobi. Nairobi. Correct. Contract of construction signed between Kenya Railways and the China Ridge Road and Bridge and I call it China Road Bridge Airport. Everything. Correct. Corporation. Yes. Correct. Okay. Right. You said there's a second contract. There's a second contract. CT, uh, yeah. please Repub do the honors. Yes, Republic of Kenya, Ministry of Transport. Supply. Familiar word in Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Supply. <laughs> Supply and installation of the facilities, comma, locomotives and rolling stocks. What are rolling stocks? For the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway Project between Kenya Railway Corporation and China Road and Bridge Corporation. Contract document, October 2012. Uh -huh. Yes, you're going to ask the question. October 2012. Yeah. Mm. Mwai Kibaki was the president. Mm. Mm. The other one was dated what? 2012. June 2012. Okay. Okay. Sawa, now you want to know. Contract and agreement, seller's power of attorney. Long, 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 long details. I know what you're going to ask. Uh, this contract was made the 4th of October, 2012. Okay. All right. All right. Signed, 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 stamps. Even seal is there. That's very good. Now, let's go to letter of award, shall we? You know, I'm getting familiar with this thing. Mm. <laughs> right. Now, a uh, sum. Hmm? Who's written the letter of award? Uh, the letter of award written by China Road and Bridge Corporation. Uh -huh. uh, they are in a place called C88 Zoglu Plaza. Hmm. Eh. There's a long word here. Somewhere, somewhere. And why the GA Beijing, China. But oh, hey, that's okay. exactly how it's written. Okay. Okay. I didn't eat anything. <laughs> you didn't. Okay. Yes, okay. But it's in China. Okay. Okay, so if you go to C88, you'll find You'll that. find that. Okay, <laughs> right. The amount in dollars is in billions of dollars, one 
point one four six seven nine one zero zero eight point seven. One point four. One billion. Mm. One billion one hundred forty six million seven hundred and ninety one thousand zero zero eight and seventy five cents. Right. All right, Dean. Okay. Okay. That is the amount of award. Then there's the acceptance. For what? Railways. Sorry, CT. For what? Supply of rolling stock. Rolling Supply. Stones. Let me read it. Supply <laughs> and insulation. <laughs> <laughs> of facility before the rolling stones there were inst facilities installation of facilities You're thinking music. Yes. installation of facilities <laughs> right. locomotives uh, as in gariamoshi uh -huh. uh, rolling stocks for, in, as in rolling stocks as in uh -huh. as in stocks which are rolling <laughs> uh, for the mombasa nairobi standard gauge railway project and stars give me questions you know i can't jimmy answer. what are those three things yes. what is facilities what is locomotives what is rolling stock well, facilities are stations, okay. not not the actual stations that you see constructed, but the railway station. You know where it docks, the the, the mechanics. Okay. Every time it comes to sort the electrical, mm. the signaling right? and all. Yes. Okay. Um, then you have rolling stock. Mm -hmm. Rolling stock is all part of the locomotives, really. It's just a nice uh, big word. So locomotives and rolling stock. And rolling are stock. Same thing. It's the same thing. It's the wagon. It's, it's a wagon. It's the bogey. Correct. Correct. The boggy. Yes. <laughs> How much is the amount? 1.46 billion dollars. Okay. okay. Nairobi? Mombasa. It's Nairobi Mombasa. Right. Yes. And exclusive of value added tax, custom duties, IDF fees, says and withholding tax. That's the same with the civil contract. Yes. Okay. Same. No taxation. No taxation. No. All right. Signed by the same individual. Okay. Who had signed before? Okay. An address to the same managing director. Okay. okay. Right. Now, I want you to read the first part of... Uh, this is now the finance agreement. Finance agreement. That was signed in August 2013. What is a finance agreement? Now, this is what puts together... And this is what I... I, I and this is what uh, Makoman brought out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. This agreement. Okay. Right? Okay. This is now the finance agreement to finance both the rolling stock and the civil works okay. for the we construction of SGR from Mombasa to, to Nairobi. So this is the document that itemizes it? No. In terms just of the case, finance. This is one that just says where is the money going to come where from? Where is it going the to the come from? The money is coming from this place. Correct. Mm. Oh, Correct. Okay. Who is going to pay yes. China Road and Bridge and blah, blah, blah yes. to do this job for which they've been contracted? Yes. Okay. Aye. So that you are clear that these two contracts are the ones covered by the finance, by the finance agreement okay. done in August 2013. Okay. Huruto 1. Correct. Okay. Please read the first paragraph. This one. Whereas. After whereas. Okay. Let me just mention. This is the Memorandum of Understanding on Financial Support for Mombasa and Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway Project between the Government of the Republic of Kenya represented by the National Treasury and Export import bank of china okay whereas kenya railway corporation herein referred to as krc and china road and bridge corporation herein referred to as crbc cbc have entered on into on july 11th and october 4th 2012 what what are the contracts those are those two mm -hmm. those two july and October. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Good. commercial contracts on civil works and supply and insulation of facilities, locomotives and rolling stocks for the Mombasa Nairobi Standard Gauge Railway Project, herein referred to as the project. Okay. With a total sum of US dollars 3.804 billion for the purpose of implementation of the project. The government of the Republic of Kenya is desirous to request three points. Sorry, what? Three point eight zero four billion US dollars. For the purpose of? For the purpose those of implementing the project. Of the project. Is it those two contracts? Yes, yes. it is for those two. So the two drew the two point two something and one point one four. Combined is three point eight zero four. Got it. Billion. All right. Are we together? Gotcha. As we say in Kenya? Mm. Mm. Let me read this last one, Jimmy. <laughs> this reading. The government of Kenya is desirous. To request for financing support of Kenya Exim, uh, sorry, China Exim Bank, which is conscious of the significance of the project on social and economic development of the Republic of Kenya, and is willing to provide financial support to implement the project after conducting a preliminary review. Okay. Signatories. Uh, 
the signatories uh, done at <laughs> at Beijing on this 19th day of this August. This was during uh, President Uhuru's first visit to China. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. August 2013. Mr. Henry Rotich, Cabinet Secretary, National Treasury of the Republic of Kenya. Okay. Signature. Signature. Then Mr. Sun Ping, Vice President of the Export Import Bank of China on behalf of the Export Import Bank of China. All right. Those are the signatories. Okay. So Treasury and Exim Bank China have entered into a financing okay. agreement. Yes. Okay. Now, further to this agreement, in it, it says that um, 3.8 is 90% of the project cost. So that the Kenya government is to raise 10%, 10%. what they call self-raising finance, mm -hmm. right, as its contribution. Yeah, I'm confused by this math. Why? Because already those two contracts, my math shows me that it should be 3.4. Why? See, that one was 1.146 for rolling stock. And the other one was 2. Point. It was 220. So it was 2.2. 2. So 2.2 mm. 2 billion Plus dollars. 1.46 yeah. is 3.4. Yes, it, it, it comes to 3.4. So now here we are at 3.8, and the 3.8 is 90% of the total. Yes. Mm. I'm confused. Yes. Don't be confused. 1.4 plus 2.2 is... Don't is be confused at all. Yeah? Because mm. in this contract of civil works, mm. there is something called non-binding BQs. Okay. Do you know what that means? No. A BQ... Is a bill of quantities yes, but mm -hmm. non of 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 the amounts that uh, of material that is needed for the project. Okay. So if you are saying, for example, Mombasa to Nairobi needs ten thousand uh, steel bars of let's say hundred meters. Yep. Mm. Right. Okay. Yep. Steel bars, bars of hundred meters. meters. Yes. Ten thousand. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. That becomes non-binding in this contract. Because as you go along the way, it, it may become 15,000. It may increase, okay. it may reduce. Right? Non-binding normally has a clause that says, not, not non-binding, BQs always have a, a, a fluctuation clause that says maybe 10%. A variation. Variation. Okay. But this one is non-binding. Binding. Which means as they are going along, the quantities may increase. Mm. Ah, so the quantities are not fixed. They are not yeah. fixed. And if they are not fixed, the cost. Then is also the cost fixed. is not fixed. All right. Correct. So are we providing so for what them? I'm pro what I'm showing here yeah. is a contract that was the basis of the finance agreement, but with a non-binding BQ. So an allowance seems to have been given. Okay. For amounts, right? That's that may have come later in an eight. addendum, which okay. we don't know. Right? So Which we don't know. Okay. But normally, uh, normally in law, mm. in our laws of Kenya, you cannot vary a project <laughs> more than 10%. Mm. Right? You cannot. But here, it became irrelevant. Mm. So, three point, our math, according to what's on paper in those contracts, is $3.4 trillion, $3.4 billion. Mm. The agreement is for $3.8 billion, which is a 90% component. This yes. 3.8 is 90%. Yes. 90%. Okay. And the Kenya government is to raise 10%. 10%. What does 10% equate to? So, let's say the project is 3.8. Uh, no, 3.4. 10% should have been? 3.8. Let's say 3.8. So, 3 .8. the Kenya government should have raised 3.8. Yes. 3.8 billion yes. is 90% of X. Yes. Okay. So 380 so what billion. Is X? 380 billion. Okay. Right? Not 380. No. 38 billion. No, 38 billion. 38 billion. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's uh, a. Because okay. we're going 30, at 100. We're going 38 at 100 billion. shillings per dollar. Correct. Right. At that. Correct. At that point. Correct. So you're looking at about 380 billion. It's 3.8 yes. times 1.9. Yes. Yeah. So 38 billion. Yes. All right. More or less. Are we on the same page? Mm. Now. It's 4. Point something billion. Now we've extrapolated that. Mm. Right? Because in our books, the debt to China Exim Bank is $5 billion. An extension of 1.2 to this going to Dukamoja. Siokimau, Dukamoja. Mm -hmm. All right? Okay. So the total 
tu duka moja is Five. Five billion dollars. That's okay. the loan we took from China, mm -hmm. okay. Exim Bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Are we on the same page mm -hmm. so far? Mombasa right. Too. Yeah. So, of that five billion dollars, mm. right? We've taken the exchange rate over the period, right, and calculated, right, mm -hmm. that total cost, right, as four hundred. And 75 billion shillings okay all right so like the 380 mm -hmm. and then you go to Dongo Kundu mm -hmm. I mean to uh, Dukamoja yeah you have 474 billion shillings okay right so the entire rail city from Mombasa all the way to Dukamoja mm -hmm. okay is five just under 500 billion shillings All right? Mm -hmm. Now, China Exim Bank, according to the debt book, did advance us $5 billion. Okay. Which was 90%. The debt book is at CBK. Yes. And it's also tabulated as an item in the budget. So they advanced us $5 billion, which was 90% of the construction of the rail mm -hmm. from Mombasa to do Kamoja, okay. Naivasha. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. Are we on the same page? Are we yeah. on the same page? But right. I'm going to uh, have to ask, did this <coughs> money find itself in the consolidated fund? Yes. Okay. It landed. This one landed. Okay. How it landed is by drawdowns. So, I'll give you an example. A graphic example. When China Road constructs, it provides to Kenya Railways certificates of payment. Right? Kenya Railways forwards those certificates of payments to the Treasury. The Treasury pays its 10%, right? Yep. Self-raising finance mm -hmm. okay. on that certificate. Okay. And then issues a notice of drawdown to China Exit Exim. Bank, right. which then issues its payments directly to China Road. To China, China Road, yes, to China Road. From Exim Bank. Mm -hmm. China, to China to China Road. Road. Okay. So the issues, notices of drawdown can be seen as a debit in the consolidated fund. fund yeah. yeah, right. Are we together? Mm -hmm. All right? Yep. So we just did the math. As we keep saying, this thing is in plain sight. sight. Do. Yeah. It's in plain sight. Just that our, our very good professionals here don't do the numbers. Right? This is simple math. Mm -hmm. Right? So we, we, we looked at the debt and we said, were the issues, notices of drawdown done according to the construction? Okay. We found, yes, they were. So every time China Road would complete? Would complete. Issue a certificate to Kenya Railways. Yes. Kenya Railways would certify that, yes, true, this has been done, forward it to Treasury. Yes. Treasury would pay its bid. Yes. Forward this to Exim Bank. Exim yes. Bank pays. would pay its bid. Okay. So Exim Bank paid China Road in bridge in full. The five billion dollars. Mm -hmm. Right. That it did. And we, in turn, have been paying a loan to we own repayments to that. Mm -hmm. Both interest and we started principal okay. two years ago. All right? Okay. That is there. Good record. Mm -hmm. So then we audited what you call the self-raising 10% funds. Yes. The money that is granted by Treasury to Kenya Railways. 10% for the construction and for the locomotives. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. And we did the sums. So if it was 470 billion is the Kenyan shilling value, the 10% amounts to what? 47 It's 47 billion. But then, Jimmy, it's 470 billion is 90%. It's not 100%. Yeah. No, no, no. This is now we've taken... 100% okay. on 475. So, so we've taken the 5 billion yeah. plus, plus our 10% yeah. raising. Yeah. It comes to so comes to this, yes. So of 475 billion, 10% is 47.5 billion. Right. So we look for the 47.5 billion. And sure enough, before Treasury issued its notice of drawdown, it had to give evidence that it had paid the 10% self-raising finance. Right. Yeah. So we just calculated Okay? Okay. 
And do you know what that <coughs> amount got to? Mm. 47.5 plus... No, unfortunately not. Unfortunately not. It's less. This one I won't do to read. Hmm. This is the amount of our 10% contribution. Yeah, okay. 644 billion shillings. Yes. 644 billion. That's our contribution. That's our 10% contribution. That's 10%, which should have been 47.5 billion shillings. We paid how much? 644 billion shillings. It was received by KRC, transferred to CRBC. Okay. Thank you. Does that answer your question? And those are in our books? Yes. Okay. In plain sight. How, how do you explain and I have this? And I have all the documents. All the transfers, everything. 644, all the not 64.4. <laughs> no, 644 billion. As opposed to 47.5 47 47 billion. Uh -huh. We were supposed to save uh, to to send 47.5. 47 47.5, but ended up sending 644. Given our reputation for enormous generosity, we decided, decided to, send to give 10 times the amount. How much again? 644 billion. billion. Okay. So okay, you, Jimmy. With each certificate issued by China Road, right? And the corresponding payments, were you seeing a 10% correlation? All they do, and you know this is what because, I'm saying, because I, think, if, I think if you want to talk about a crime site, it is called the Treasury. What you see is mm. one simple line, self-raising finance for SDR construction. They don't even put, it's not called 10%. Okay. It's just called self-raising finance, finance SGR construction. SGR construction. Now, in your audit, yes, you you should be seeing. So, when they're issuing a certificate, mm -hmm. the amount of money that China Road receives from Exim should correspond ten percent with the amount of money that Treasury according has released to who? To, uh, according to who? According to you the see, contract what you need to understand, what you need to understand mm -hmm. is that they are they are they, they seem like they are they are different departments in the Treasury. There's one that is doing the drawdown for the loan okay right saying oh i've received the certificate issue exim bank with the drawdown yes and there is another that is paying the grant from treasury as 10 percent contribution so-called self-raising finance yeah. for contribution and what's kenya really supposed and to have done with this money now pay, now what they did CRBCC. and it's also very well recorded they mm. pay china road and bridge so the money so, they received. So China Road and Bridge mm. received a total of 1.18 trillion shillings. I'm confused. 644 plus, plus the $5 billion. Mm. Right. That's amount of 644, Jimmy. I get it. Yes. This 644, mm. when you're doing your audit and you're seeing a certificate has been issued and there's the process of the payments. Mm. At the point when the Treasury is releasing this amount, how much do they release to Kenya Railways? Were you seeing a variation or was it a constant figure? No, it was not constant. They, so are, they, different were, they are different figures. They are different figures because certificates are different. Dif because of different, different stages. So it's understood right. if they are different. But then it would be corresponding. It would be if you're receiving 100 from China Exim, hmm. right? You should be receiving 10. Okay, who Kenya is Railways. supposed to do this audit? See, that's what you were doing. I'm asking what, oh, what, what, what all you were we did. All we, we did. did it, all we did. How do you see? What, mm. what you all, we, all we did was this. Mm. What is the project cost? Five. And how much money has been received? Okay. So, did it receive it, the money from China Exim Bank? Yes, they did. Did they receive the self raising finance from, from the Kesh, National Treasury? National Treasury? Yes, they did. And what some. were the sums? Mm. And some. <laughs> and, and some. Yeah. So, we just did the numbers. Now, if you want us to cross out it, right? Mm. That is an exercise for the Auditor General. That's an odd exercise for COB. That should have been their job. What we have are the claims for the project and the, the certificates and the payments. So total payments were 1.2 trillion. Almost 1.2 trillion that went to China Road and Bridge we for a project of 475 billion now what you need to understand is that we paid more from our pockets than china exim bank paid now you got it we kenyans 
with our taxis, finance that entire project and more. We did not even need a loan. Uh, uh, that's that's the way uh, you need to digest uh, this. Uh, pana, no. That's what you need uh, to digest. Pana, no. <laughs> Give us a minute. We have to we have to go back to this story. <laughs> we have to start this story again from square one. We start again from square one. First of all, SGR equals ABCD. <laughs> then we come into contracts entered into between. <laughs> we are talking about SGR today, and Jimmy has done a couple of things. So Jimmy has brought to us two contracts that were signed in 2012. This is a contract between Kenya Railways and China Road and Bridge Construction Company. One was for the civil works of building railway between Mombasa and Nairobi. The other one was for provision of rolling stock and uh, locomotives. locomotives and installing some facilities. Okay. Plus. Plus. The third one. Uh-huh. Which was the finance the third MOU. one was a financing MOU signed the two in 2013, 2013 on how to finance those two contracts. Correct. This was signed by the National Treasury and the China Exim Bank. Correct. And the agreement was $5 billion, No, 3.8. 3.8. Yes. $3.8 billion for that. But then going all the way to Dukamoja in Aivasha. Increased another 1.2. So it became $5 billion. Correct. Okay. In that five billion, what we were supposed to do as the government of Kenya was to finance ten percent yes. of that amount. Yes. Yes. And you now looked at how the payments were being made. Yes. Every time uh, China Road and Bridge will hit a milestone, an agreed milestone, yes. they would present a certificate of completion to Kenya Correct. Railways. Correct. Kenya Railways would confirm that indeed you have actually hit this point and you are due to be paid. They present that to the Treasury. Yes. The Treasury says, all right, so here is our 10%. Kenya Railways pay China Road. Yes. And then after that, yes. they send the same to China Exim Bank. Yes. And then China Exim Bank pays the 90%. The 90%. Correct. To China Road and Bridge Construction. Correct. Total. Yes. Okay. In total, you say that our 10% contribution our 10% contribution should have been 47.5 billion shillings correct we ended up paying 644 billion shillings that's correct. what you find in the books correct the books of the national treasury yes and exim bank paid china road how much 5 billion dollars 5 billion dollars 500 billion shillings let's say roughly yes. for roughly that. different exchange rates so then Five hundred billion dollars should have been a ninety percent contribution. Yes, six forty-four billion shillings. Five 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 hundred billion shillings should have been a ninety percent contribution. Mm. Yes, six hundred and forty-four billion shillings should have been a ten percent contribution. Yes. Now, simple mathematics. Yes, six forty-four is more than five hundred. Correct. There's no way six forty-four can be a ten percent contribution. Correct. In Amchango. Correct. And five hundred billion is a ten ninety percent contribution to the same Harambe. Correct. Correct. Are you sure, Jimmy? Are you sure that we paid six forty four billion? Because I, if we indeed paid six forty four billion, <laughs> then we are the ones who paid ninety percent. No, we didn't pay ninety percent. We paid over a hundred percent. Essentially we over a hundred percent. Essentially we it means we could have built this really without that money. Yes. We didn't need a loan. Without Exim Bank. Yes. We didn't need it. If we could fork out. In fact, we could have built it all the way to Kisum without a loan. Is it captured elsewhere in the huh. Auditor General's report no. of those years? No. 644 billion no. shillings. No. And well, it is. Come? It is self-raising finance. It's put there self-raising finance. And As I keep telling you, and the people are captured. not doing the math. Just You just need to calculate. So in I'll, the give auditor, you, I'll give you all the documents. In if the you Auditor General's them. reports, yes. if you do the total, yes. from the Auditor General's report, 644 billion will appear. Yes. As our self yes, finance. I will show you, you. You'll see it very clearly. I've got zip files. I'll, say, I'll give them to you. Mm. Does These are documents... And we made sure we 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 we, we have downloaded them. Mm. You, this is just simple math. People are not doing math here. We have a big problem. Simple math, and you're asking why we have problems. You're asking why we have problems. We are saying, conservatively. Conservatively, over seven hundred billion shillings has been put in somebody's pocket. You see this expressway? It cost about 100 billion shillings. Yeah, should have been eight. When I look at it, mm. right, because it's a PPP mm. by China Road and Bridge. Yeah. 
guaranteed by Kenyans. Yes. That is just money laundering of our, of our money. How? Oh. But if you have made, been paid over 700 billion above your cost, you need to bring it back. You just bring it back system. to wash it. Uh, what did you just and say? And you legitimize it. You've connected the two now? Yes. You wash it. A step back. I, so, want, uh, I want to be very sure. No, this Eric, 644. Please, 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 sorry. <laughs> okay, you ask me. Wait. Hmm? This 644, let's mm. say that the 644, right? Remove the 10% from that 644. Oh, you're not? No, why? Okay. 644 on its own. Is 10% is what is supposed to be. Supposed to be. It's and it, supposed I'll, to be tell you, I'll tell you the wording million. exactly from the National Treasury. Okay. Mm. National Treasury grant, mm. Kenya Railways, mm -hmm. self raising finance. Okay. Contribution. Understood. That's all. The 10%. Got it. Now, what you're saying is that this money has found its way round to yet another project that was overpaid in Kenya. And that's a way to launder. In fact, it hasn't been paid? overpaid. You see, you see, for this expressway, we never paid from our shillings. We only paid our shillings, our tax revenue, mm. paid for what were called some of the works down there. I don't know. NMS was doing some, some works, three billion which, which, which was also looted to mm. a very large extent, mm. according to the numbers we are seeing. Mm. But the actual construction of the expressway right, mm. was so-called an investment yeah. mm -hmm. by China Road and Bridge. Mm -hmm. To be recouped. Estimated at about 100 years. billion shillings. Mm. To be recouped over 20-something 20 years. Mm. 27 years. Right? Mm. Uh, what, you, what you may not know is that it's also guaranteed by the Kenyan government. Yeah. Mm. Right? If we don't use the road, our taxes pay. Pay. Okay. Now, here we go. 100 billion. Is, if you've made 700 billion, what is 100 billion? Yeah, now you're cleaning it. Mm. Are we together? Are we on the same page, Do <sighs> We are. Okay, good. Now, this, you see, unless you understand the concept of all this as a massive crime scene of monies that are unimaginable, to most of us, okay, you will not get to the crux of this problem. If you think it's an issue of uh, the president flying to France like he's going this week, and that's a big thing because he's using money, that's nothing. That is nothing. We have a very big problem here. And it's a problem loaded on us, right, of so-called a shortage that we are not going to envisage for the next 60 years that we are carrying today. Right? It is, it is, it is, it is slavery around our necks. Mm. So okay, we will never come out of this. I hear what I've you're now saying. given you just two examples. Yeah, and okay, obviously, all right. I gave you, examples. I gave, I gave you Eurobond. Yeah, I've given you this, and we are still trying to cover the six point five. And obviously, from what we're, you're saying, we're, we're not there yet, Jimmy. Then there's a possibility that there are other things like this, which is oh, very many. No, we have them all. We have, right? to, we have to hit six point five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, at some point... We've only know. done like a billion... Yes. 1.6 now. Yes. The question is, when you say... When you're telling us these things, they're hitting us in the face, you know, mm. blow after blow. But then I have to ask that why has this not come out before? Why has it not come out with the details, you know, that you're giving? Because... I would, if I was the, if anybody were in a position of the legislature, for example, who is supposed to be asking these questions once they've been flagged by these two offices of the COB and the AG, Auditor General, and we ask these questions as, well, where did this money go? The legislature then is the one who's supposed to pick up the baton and say, excuse me, where is this going? You know, so why have we not heard this? Why is it not being exposed? Because this is exposure par excellence in terms of what is exactly happening. Y you know, the, the one thing that um, I, I, I think you must also not avoid is your also as the media's responsibility in this. Mm. We can blame parliament. The Kenyan public choose those parliamentarians, so they should blame themselves, not the parliamentarians. We elect a president. We should blame ourselves because he didn't do his homework and he's telling us now he can't meet his promises. We have constitutional office holder call the Auditor General and the control of budget. Mm. The control of budget I watched last week before the dialogue committee in Yakango is somebody who is crying for help. You could see she's crying for help. She's singing. I mean, who knows how many offices she has not sung in. Mm. 
who knows who is not visiting her office and telling her you know you better just sign this thing mm-hmm. she is telling this thing may sweep you long before you do whatever she is crying for help even media help and you don't get it the only thing you get out of out of all she said was she's talking about her salary being twice because maybe that's all you understand her salary being posted twice that is not the problem it's nothing the big problem is what she said we are fulizing to go and drink at the bar you know she's crying for help and even the media is not listening so i think we all need as kenyans to take responsibility right we can't shove it to one side or the other we must take responsibility because this pain is going to continue it is not ending and i can let me give it graphically because this is another figure i would like i would have liked to have brought up earlier graphically to our lives going forward mm. because of so much money going to debt every time our exchange rate is dropping the same cob has said one shilling increases debt by 40 billion shillings mm. drop a shilling drop 40 billion that is never going to end it's increasing by the day on top of that just to show you how it directly comes to our lives with something called mafuta mm. mafuta one of the things that uh, city's friend brought up was a formula called lc for the purchase of mafuta mm-hmm. i know you see this friend nice. right mm-hmm. said in order to stop the slide of the shilling in order to stop the slide of the shilling right there is this big demand for mafuta dollars every month mm. of 500 billion dollars that goes out yeah mm. right we have now done what is called credit facility Ooh. forward six mm. months yeah right so after six months we pay you know the greatest thing about that city is that at least we can sort of predict eh, the fuel price right because i can tell you it has now very little to do with the spot price right mm. so what we took in march at a spot price of 82 dollars mm. right the sh- the shilling was at 127 we are paying in september the spot price was 80 it had gone down mm-hmm. but the fuel price increased <laughs> <laughs> to us at the pump mm-hmm. why because of the exchange loss yeah all right so in 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 september the shilling was 153 uh, not not 153 sorry in in um, september in uh, march it was 120 march, it was 139 mm-hmm. now Yes, this is actually from uh, Epra. Epra had estimated in September. You guys are busy talking about 150 now. Mm. Epra, if you see its sheet that it brought out on price changes, they estimated the dollar at 153. Right? That's a difference of 13.64. That is taken to us at the pump. All right? Okay? The following month, we are paying April. April was the dollar was 138. the estimated in october october we are paying april eh? six months eh? mm-hmm. so march to september <coughs> april october right may november munaona yeah mm. mpaka march next year then we've taken a new contract right mm-hmm. so march next year april next year we'll be paying what we have taken in september this year mm. you look at the exchange rate variation so you can estimate the the, the appreciation every month all right Are we together city mm-hmm. okay because the dollar exchange loss is passed on to us at the pump mm. okay so it was 2 211 right because of exchange loss it goes to 222 they said they're giving us stabilization came to 2217 17 all right hiya ah, what do you think is going to be this month this month we are paying what we took in may In May the dollar was at 141. The estimate this month is that in November when we come to pay I think mid next next week is going to be at 159. That's All right, that's a difference of 17.86 to the dollar. Can to the sure? dollar. The pump price is 1217. Mm-hmm. 
it will be interesting to see how they maneuver away from a price of 230. Mm. All right? And you can extrapolate this all the way until September next year. So Mambo ya Mafuta, okay, is sealed until September next year. And people are crying about Mafuta. All I can tell you is that it will keep appreciating. It will go up. It will keep going up every single month. Mpaka it will reach 300 and beyond. So when Moses Kuria said every, ten, every month, every 10 shillings, he was even being conservative. And why is our shilling dropping? Mm -hmm. Quote my friend again. <laughs> <laughs> why is our shilling dropping? Where why? is all our money going? So why is it dropping? Where is all our money going? To paying debt? Yes. It is. We're not producing. Well, at 70%, yes. in terms of everything mm -hmm. you We're not get, producing. 70% goes towards the payment of debt. Correct. If we look at the latest numbers, and we're looking at uh, about 15% then going towards uh, recurrent expenditure. Correct. And, uh, and then you only debt. have about 12% left that's then supposed to go towards everything else that the country needs. Of including the, county. Absolutely. Of these debts, of what percentage are domestic? 50%. 56% here. But no, 54. We're under Ghana. Ghana was 56 percent. That's for 54. Yes. And that one is, is uh, denominated in Kenya shillings. Yes. But the other 46 is what's killing us because it's dominated on the dollar. Yes. But of that, right, it's not the bilateral ones. The commercial ones. It is the commercial ones. These trade and development bank are telling you 5 12, billion. 18? 5 billion. Yeah, yeah. Those are crazy. Those 5 billion, the euro bonds, those are the ones killing us. Those ones, high interest rate, high rate, those are the ones killing us. If you look at what came from 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 uh, the bilaterals, World Bank, IMF, and so on, it's you know those are affordable. Those are probably about twelve percent. Those are affordable. It's these others that were taken. We don't know what they went for. You know these percent. We don't know what they went for. The, the big commercial ones. Yes. The moment you're dealing with the billions, yeah, even if someone said two percent, it's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. The Correct. moment you go to two digits, you're talking ten. Correct. It's a colossal amount Correct. of money. Correct. It's this. You see, we are paying a loan and we funded the project from our pocket and beyond. This is the problem. I'm still stuck on that, Jimmy. <laughs> we have paid six hundred and forty four from our pocket from, from taxes. Our taxes yes. towards SGR. Yes. For a construction of four hundred and seventy five billion. So we, we even paid more yes. and yet we still took a loan of five billion. Yes. This money, 644, would have taken the rail, even with all this elaborate building, mm. all the way to Malaba, to Kisumu and Malaba, with our money. We didn't even need a loan. I was doing it for 55, but I was not going up in the sky. Right? That's what I'm trying to say. If we do not address this massive theft, this crime scene called the Treasury, I can assure you, there's no amount of taxes. There's no amount of beating us on our heads that is going to solve this. There's no stabilization. Because I hear the government say, we have stabilized. They've stabilized nothing. Look at the exchange rate. Look at cost of living. It's not, there's nothing stable here. Look at debt. They are taking more debt. If they were stable, why would they be taking double the debt that Uhuru even took last year? Mm. Right. They have not stabilized anything. You know, the question is going to come at you, Jimmy. Mm. And I think also necessary for you to clarify is that would you go into digging all of this? Had you been, had, the, had, you, oh, I had you been the one who got the contract to then be able to do this work, then we would not have heard about any other uncovering of anything that might be going on. in. You government. see, the key thing you need to understand is that I am a businessman. Mm. <laughs> a businessman, right? does not operate on the basis of theft. That's mm. criminality. Mm. Right? So you look at return. I had done a project that was pure business. Right? We are investing. I'm not taking tax mm. revenue. Mm. Right? I'm taking an asset, right, under a, so a project called PPP, enhancing it yeah. in a partnership. Kenya Railways, you own this valuable land, right? Come and be a shareholder. We are investing. We even had a company that was going to do the rolling stock and the management. Mm. And I was seeing a return. It was re like a real estate project. Right? You build and you just sit back and in enjoy the rent coming in. Mm. For the next, and seven years I had, seven and a half years I had a return. Mm. No tax revenue. Mm -hmm. But I create greater efficiency. Sure. Right? At the time we were talking, only 3% 
of 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 of, of cargo was going by rail mm. on RVR. Everybody was on the roads. Now we are going to provide something cheaper, okay, more efficient, and get traffic back on the rail, cargo traffic. That's what we were doing, mm. right? Cheaper than roads. So we were time, coming in cheaper. By the time these two contracts were being signed in 2012, yes, the your project was still no. Online. no. When this was being signed, mm. is when I told is, is by the time this was being done, I had told China Road and Bridge, I want nothing to do with this. This can't work. If you look at our feasibility study, which I've got here, mm. it was all about a private project. Now it has been turned into a government project. Mm. This can't work. You can't do the feasibility, technical, and then come to take the, do the contracts. The government didn't even do its own feasibility study. I said, this is just a whitewash. It will never pass any, 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 any bar of recognition. It won't pass a court, won't pass what. And that's what the Court of Appeal said. How do you do all this? It's contrary to, I can't remember the section in the Constitution, that you do a project in, in, inception, right? to everything mm. and then say here is the bill it's mm. like your contractor right it's like your contractor telling you i'm bu buying the land for you i'm building the house for you i'm the bq i'm the quantity survey i'm the one who signed all the certificates i'm the architect right here's the bill and you have no other way of checking that's what happened here uh, hey jimmy <coughs> okay you just go <laughs> City, what is it? You look Send tired. us those documents. We need to look at those documents. Share those documents that you've said you have, Jimmy. All right? And then, I mean, <laughs> let everybody look at them. And then have a conversation again. But thank you for joining us today. Thank you. This is The Situation Room. The only way to start your day.